Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. To make this sweater you will need a weight 4 yarn and a 6mm crochet hook. So begin by making a slip knot and then chain 66 for small, 72 for medium, 78 for large, 84 for XL, 90 for 2XL, 96 for 3XL, 102 for 4XL and 108 for the 5XL. Don't forget the free pattern is on my blog crochetwithcarry.com if you want to go and check that out. So next you're going to place a half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. And then you're going to place a half double crochet into every chain all the way across. So for your next row, chain 2 and then turn. That chain 2 counts as your first half double crochet. So skip that very first space and then go into the next one and place another half double crochet. And then half double crochet into every stitch all the way across. So at the end of this row, your last half double crochet will be on top of that chain two. So next we're going to chain four. Then turn your work. That chain four counts as a double crochet and a chain one. So skip that first space and the next and then place a double crochet into the third stitch over. Then chain one, skip the next stitch and then work a double crochet into the following stitch. Then chain one, skip your next stitch and then work a double crochet into the following. So repeat that all the way across. So here we are coming up towards the end. So we're going to chain one, skip the next stitch and then work your last double crochet on the top of that chain two. Chain two and then turn your work. This entire sweater is going to be a three row repeat. So you're basically going to be doing two rows of half double crochet and the one row of the mesh. So into that first chain one space, place a half double crochet, then place a half double crochet on the top of the next double crochet. Chain one, 
then a half double crochet into that chain one space and then a half double crochet on top of that double crochet so continue that all the way across working a half double crochet into every chain one space and on top of every double crochet So here we are coming up towards the end. So we're going to place a half double crochet on top of that last double crochet. Now we have a big space here. So place a half double crochet into that space. And then your last half double crochet is going to be into the third chain up. So place your half double crochet into that third chain. So you're going to repeat those last three rows. Your next row is going to be a chain two, then turn your work. And then you're going to half double crochet all the way across. So at the end of this row, you're going to do another row of half double crochet. Then after that, you're going to do your mesh row. So your mesh row is the chain four, double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet, chain one, skip one, all the way across. So yeah, just keep repeating those three rows until you have your preferred length of top. I stopped when I came to about my hip area. So just keep going until you are happy with your length of top. So once you're finished, you're going to fasten off, leave a long tail, and then the front is going to be the exact same, but do three rows less. So now you're going to count a few stitches in from the right. You're going to place a stitch marker on stitch number 19 for small, 23 for medium, 25 for large, 29 for extra large, 31 for 2XL, 35 for 3XL, 37 for 4XL and 41 for 5XL. And then you're going to count that same number of stitches in the other side and place your marker there as well. So now we're going to continue from where we are. We're going to chain four. That counts as your first double crochet and chain one. Skip that first space and the next and then work a double crochet into the following stitch. Then chain one, skip your next stitch double crochet into the following so continue that chain one skip a stitch double crochet into the next all the way across until you reach your first stitch marker So once you reach your stitch marker, take it out, then chain two, and then turn your work. And you're going to place a half double crochet into that chain one space. And then a half double crochet on top of that double crochet. And continue that all the way across, placing a half double crochet into every chain one and on top of every double crochet.
So when you come to the end, we're going to place a half double crochet into that big space. And then your last half double crochet will be on top of the third chain up. So now you're going to chain two and then you're going to do one more row of half double crochet. And once you have that row finished, you're going to fasten off and leave a long tail. So now you're going to attach your yarn into that stitch that has your second stitch marker. So insert your hook and then chain four. Don't forget this chain four counts as your first double crochet and chain one. So skip a stitch and then work a double crochet into the next stitch, then chain one, skip a stitch, work a double crochet into the next one and continue that all the way across. So you're going to do the same thing that you did on the other side. You're going to do this row of mesh then at the end of this row, you're going to chain two, turn your work and then double crochet, half double crochet across and then do another row of half double crochet. And then you're going to fasten off, leaving a long tail. So now your front panel will look like this. Now you're going to lay your back panel on a flat surface and then you're going to grab your front panel and lay that on top of your back panel. So you're going to slip stitch across this shoulder, then cut your yarn and then slip stitch across this shoulder. So now you're going to count about nine inches down from the shoulder and then place a stitch marker. And then you're going to do the same for the other side. So you're going to attach your yarn to this corner and then you're going to slip stitch all the way up to your stitch marker and then cut your yarn. And then you're going to do the same thing over to this side, attach your yarn and then slip stitch up to that stitch marker. So once you have all that done, you're going to turn your top right side out. We're going to be working our sleeves into these armholes. We're not going to be doing the sleeves separately. So 
So we're going to attach our yarn into the side seam underneath your armhole, just right there. So attach your yarn there and then you're going to chain two and then you're going to work 54 half double crochet all around the armhole for a small, 56 for medium, 60 for large, 62 for extra large, 68 for 2XL, 74 for 3XL, 78 for 4XL and 5XL. Continue with your number of half double crochet all the way around. When you get all the way around, you're going to slip stitch into that chain two. After you've slip stitched we're going to chain two and then we're going to work a half double crochet into every stitch all the way around your armhole so you're going to continue in the same pattern as you did for your front and back panel your next row is going to be the mesh row and then after that you're going to do two rows of half double crochet and then the row of the mesh so continue those three rows So now you have two choices. You can either just keep going in the pattern until the sleeve is the length of your arm, or you can do what I did. I wanted a bell sleeve, so I kept going until the sleeve was to about my elbow. And then after that, then I decided to do some increases. So I did my increases on the second row of the half double crochet. So, so far I have just one row of half double crochet done. So what I did was I chained two. Then I half double crocheted into the next stitch. Then into the next stitch I did two half double crochets. Then I placed a half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then I placed two half double crochets into the next. So repeat that all the way around to do two half double crochets. Then into the third stitch, do two half double crochets into that third stitch. So repeat that all the way around. Of course, you don't have to do this row if you don't want the bell sleeve. You just keep continuing on doing regular rows of half double crochets. You won't be doing this increase row. It's completely up to you. But I, I'm just saying that for my top, I did a bell sleeve. So yeah, continue that all the way around and then when you get to the end, you're going to slip stitch into that chain two. So now we're going to continue on as before. We're going to chain four and then we're going to skip the next stitch. 
and then double crochet into the stitch after that. Then we're going to chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet into the next. So repeat that all the way around. So once you've gone all the way around, you're going to slip stitch into the third chain. And then your next two rows are going to be the half double crochet rows. And then the row after that is going to be the mesh. So repeat those three rows until your sleeve is long enough for your arm. So now we're going to do some ribbing around the neck. So we're going to attach our yarn where the shoulder seam is here. And we're going to do double crochets all the way around. So once you have your yarn attached, you're going to insert your hook and then pull your yarn through and then chain three. This chain three counts as your first double crochet. And then you're going to double crochet all the way around your neckline. So once you get all the way around your neckline, you're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three. So next you're going to chain three. And then you're going to work a front post double crochet around the next double crochet. And then you're going to work a back post double crochet around the next double crochet. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. Your next stitch is going to be a front post double crochet. Then the stitch after that is going to be a back post double crochet. So continue that all the way around your neckline. When you get all the way around, you're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three. And then you're going to repeat that row one more time. So you, you have two rows of front post double crochet and back post double crochet. That's your sweater completed. So all you have left to do now is just weave in your ends and you're good to go. So if you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Don't forget I have the free pas the free pattern on my blog. It's crochetwithcarry.com. So please go and check that out. So until next time, take care.